Around the gate. Fair off, racing a mile and an eighth. Raboni was off to an awkward start, and his rank, Atrevido Bandito, going straight out toward the front, according to plan. Atrevido Bandito showing off that speed, and Gray Star is on the same page under Brandon Meyer as they turn. I can roll as a close third in the mismatched sleeves, and Raboni now a much more settled fourth as they race toward this backstretch. Fashionable time comes up the fence, and Hacker Craft trails. Six to seven lengths from these co-leaders to last, and it's Atrevido Bandito and Jesse Lance just in front of Gray Star, followed by I Can Roll, and Tanner Riggs has that close to the top two. Raboni fourth by three, fashionable time, and Hackercraft running in sixth. The opening quarter, 25 and one fifth seconds. Racing up the backstretch, at Trevito Bandido, out where he likes to be, at Trevito Bandido sets the tone with Gray Star shadowing his every move. I Can Roll still right there on the prowl running in third. Raboni's next in fourth. Hackercraft has just moved up one spot, and that leaves Fashionable Time back to race a joint last. Half mile and 49 seconds flat. Going into the far turn. At Trevito Bandito's made every yard with Gray Star close in tow. This is three furlongs from home for Atrevito Bandito by a length or so to Gray Star. The same margin to I Can Roll. There's been no twist in the plot. Raboni, Hackercraft, and Fashionable Time. Here's the quarter pole for Atrevito Bandito. Atrevito Bandito first to face the Friday crowd. Gray Star, I Can Roll, three quarters. 113 flat down to the final furlong. Atrevito Bandito now swallowed up by I Can Roll. Gray Star between horses on the far outside. Raboni now delivers a late challenge and fashionable time. Dropping away was Atrevito Bandito. Up for the wire. It's I Can Roll and Raboni. I Can Roll prevails from Raboni by a half length. Fashionable time third and Graystar.